Hi, um, I'm Karen Sura, number 30. I'm Eldar, 6. Um, and we're going to tell you about Ghana, our famous army meet. So um, they took us to Ghana, which was in Salmon. And it was a very interesting, interesting is the word, <laughs> very interesting week. To say the least. To say the least, yeah. <laughs> so um, there's a lot of lessons we learned and a lot of work we had to do. But as a whole, it was probably much easier than we expected to say. For the least, Eileen set us up very well for it. So we got there and we got to the base. And all our counselors are cracking up at us. They're like, ha you guys suck. Like, you don't even know what you're getting into. And we're like, oh, how bad can it get? And all of a sudden, this lady comes up to us, and she starts yelling at me, rah, 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 make a chet. Much scarier than and, that. Yeah, much scarier than that. And we're like, oh, God. <laughs> and she's flipping out on us. And now we're running with suitcases. And I tell you, if you guys saw our suitcases... 70 pounds 70 suitcases. 70 pounds. And they all broke, by the way. So now we're running with the suitcases. And, and, we get to the, and we get to our rooms, and we look at the rooms, and we're like... Okay, not so bad. But then you look at the bathroom and then you go, we'll see. <laughs> By the way, Scorpion in the girls' bathroom dead on the floor in the first five minutes of our trip. But uh, that's why you guys sent us here, to become tough, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that was that. And then um, what we learned was that uh, how to count to ten, yes. <laughs> basically, <laughs> in Hebrew, no. But uh, what we learned was um, how the army feels, you know, how the army runs. It's very, it's very disciplined, right? And... We learned that like, if you don't have discipline, you're never going to have an organization, you're never going to get anything done. They make you feel like you're nothing. Like They make you feel like they don't care who you are, they don't care where you come from. You're just the same other person in a green outfit that makes you look like a plumber, and you're just walking around, and all they do is yell at you, and you feel like, you really feel like they don't appreciate anything. Like They, they make you feel like you don't, you don't matter at all, and like anything that you do that's good, they don't know how to say thank you, and they don't know how to reward you, and you just sit there, and you're like, like are you kidding? Like It's a little bit, it, it, they make you feel very low. They're basically like robots. <laughs> they don't have personalities. No and all smiles. They to, and all they know how to tell you is, is can is, I have it if I can? Can I if I can? And that's it. And if you say lom if I can, you can get. Can I'm else. joking. Boom. Don't worry about it. But um, uh, what else? So what else? Was so there? no, there's like a lot of fear that they instill in you, and like they try to make you very nervous about things, but. Physically, it wasn't as challenging as we were expecting. Like it, we were very ready to be pushed, like to jump over walls and to go rope climbing and and all that. And like I mean, after survival, we did with Eileen like three days of doing just basic hiking. This was very easy. Like all they made us do was walk around and a little field training, putting mud on our faces, which we thought was a lot of fun. I don't think that was challenging at all. And whatever. So it was more about who can like. It. it was more. It was more discipline. It was more like listen to rules and that. It, it wasn't. It wasn't a challenging that, yeah. physical activity. It was more like, understanding that there's somebody higher than you who could tell you what to do and make you feel like crap basically, and you have to be able to handle it and be able to say like, yeah, like that's okay. Like I did something wrong, and you have to be able to do 20 push-ups because you wanted to scratch your nose for a second. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, 20 push-ups. Um, but like at the end of the week, um, we both got rewarded. We got meet Steinin and. Yeah. I think it was very surprising because they don't let you know at all whether they're... Explain uh, what that is, explain what that is. Okay, so look it up in the dictionary. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> No, basically it's uh, the two, let's say the two best of the Army Week. Um, we, we were, I guess, her, Mifakhead, because the girls had a guy, uh, Commander, and our girl, Commander, <laughs> thought that we were the best because clearly we are the best. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, we could have gone to anyone, but... Uh, no, because, um, oh, so it, that's basically, the, it goes to the two best uh, soldiers of the week, and so me and Karen got it, but don't, it's deceiving, because we really didn't do anything. Yeah, uh, like, they make it, I the, mean, the issue was that there was, like, very high, like, heat level, so, they really they, like they, and the, the army has government rules, uh, I don't know why, Eileen doesn't follow these rules, <laughs> if it's hot, they send us out there, take a water bottle, take mountains. a hat, enjoy yourselves, um, if you die, you die, no biggie. Uh, but in the army week, they have rules, so we didn't really do anything. We had a lot of breaks. One of the days was a fast day, but in all in all, we just got to see how the army runs and how it's a fluid system and how there, it's it's order, right? It's very disciplined and it's order, and that's just how it is. And uh, the living conditions aren't the best, but you deal with them. Living conditions are horrible. One of but, my friends uh, was sleeping on a on a, a lizard for four days. But soldiers are soldiers' conditions are definitely worse. This was just a little taste of what they get. And uh, that's it. But uh, me and Karen were mistaken, and we both got presents, which I'm going to let Karen talk about. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, back to what we learned for Army. One thing that we learned, I think, both of us, is that as good, the more that they like you, the, the meaner they are to you. I feel like, I don't, that's what I thought, I don't know. 
I offered to help him one night. Me and Deborah Dweck offered. We raised our hands to help him one night, and he gave us bathroom duty. So we ended up cleaning toilets all night, which was really funny. But yeah. Um. So yeah. Okay. So then we got rewarded because during army they don't really appreciate you that much. So um, our counselors, which was very nice of them, they decided to reward us and. Me and one, Karen, because we got the awards of uh, And one night, um, our counselor Josh took me and him to a Mayan, and we jumped in off the diving board. Yeah. I jumped off the diving board for the first time. <laughs> it was very scary. And the water was clear blue. It was gorgeous. Like, like picture Tarzan, like, woo! Like yeah. the guy was Tarzan all the way. <laughs> um, it was really, really cool. And it was fun getting out of camp for like a couple, like for like a good 45 minutes, an hour, just because... You're all the time you're with everybody, and like it, it felt good like seeing Israel. How's that explain how we scared you? Oh, yeah, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> so he's Josh. Josh is like, okay, I need you for two and a half hours. Uh, get in the car. And I'm like, what? Where are, you, where are you taking me for two and a half hours? He's like, what the hell do I have to do for two and a half hours? And then he's like, he's like, Karen's coming with. I was like, oh, Karen's coming with? Definitely an army thing, I don't know, whatever it was. And then he took us to his Mayan. He was, because we're like, we have families, and me and Karen are part of. Uh, Josh's Josh Brown's family. Josh is our daddy. <laughs> Josh is our daddy. So we are part of the family. So he was happy that two of his, uh, two of his children, got the awards. So, we have no mommy. But no, but I mean, it was fun. We had some fun times. You know, we were joking around. Uh, our counselor Nat Tom pulled out a buzzer and gave like a couple of us buzz cuts. Yes, I don't really have hair anymore. Um, Stay out of your mom. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I think we all learned a lot from it as much as, I mean, I think we learned that. We were expecting a lot, and yeah. And it just it made fun. us appreciate Ali more, like, how much we do and, and how much fun it is, you know. Like, you don't really get an experience like this, and kids in the Army are like, oh, this is so hard. We can't do this to other kids and the other groups over there. And we're like, and yeah, singing, this going is a down. joke. We're singing, we're singing going down, walking through the, the, the base, and everyone's like, what the hell are these kids doing? Why are they so happy? But, uh, in all in all, it was fun. I mean, uh. Truth in the end, uh, I think I decided what I want to do with my life, and um, Ima, I didn't know how to break it to you, but uh, I'm not really coming home, I'm joining the army.